Yo guys, it's Rumbling Man here, and today we're gonna review and demo the Dark Glass Microtubes B7K Ultra, so make sure you stay tuned. Let's hear it. So guys, we're gonna hear that some more in just a few minutes. Uh, we are checking out a really cool pedal today, uh, which as we said just a minute ago, is the Dark Glass Microtubes B7K Ultra, which is an incredibly versatile pedal. Uh, not only does it serve as a really versatile uh, DI for bass, it also serves as a very versatile uh, distortion for bass and a very versatile EQ for bass. It's interesting, in the small frame of this pedal, they pack in a lot of different uh, options to tailor the sound of your instrument, and it is extremely cool, so make sure you stick around. If it's your first time here today, I'd like to say welcome, and I'd like to invite you to go and hit the subscribe button if you're a bass player or a guitar player. We have tons of gear reviews for bass and guitarists here. We review, we educate, we have a lot of fun in the process, so I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you have been waiting for a review like this one. One of the things I like most about this pedal uh, is just kind of the genius behind its construction because we have, you know, a separate foot switch to engage the distortion. So we can choose whether we want a clean or distorted tone. We have a foot switch over here to bypass uh, or implement the, uh, the EQ features on here. Over on this side, we have a ground lift feature and uh, also a uh, place where you can connect USB to your computer uh, to load in any IRs you might wanna use because what we have is, and it only works with the XLR out, but for the XLR out, we have an optional cab simulator right here that you simply click that button, you load in whatever IR you wanna use, uh, and you can simulate a bass cab uh, with the XLR out. It's very nice. Another thing I really like is just the different options to go out. You can send two signals with this thing, and actually toward the end of today's video, we're gonna hear uh, kind of a, a little mix with two different signals in it. But in addition to the XLR out, we have a quarter inch out. We can use those independently of one another, or we can use them at the same time. And what I really like about this pedal that's a little different than a lot of other pedals I've used is I really like the headphone jack because most pedals like this one and most interfaces you find will have a headphone jack but it will be a quarter inch headphone jack. But here's the thing, not everybody is using a set of studio monitors. I really like the fact that this is more versatile for users of any kind of headset, whether it's in-ear monitors like what I'm using today or some other type of earbuds or headphones because this is an eight inch headphones jack, which makes, to me, makes the unit a lot more versatile for practice. And I did plug it up uh, with my headset the other day for some practice and really liked how it sounded coming through the headphone jack. For today's demo, I am using this Lakeland Skyline 4402 bass guitar, great quilted maple top, powerhouse of a bass. In fact, just a few days ago, uh, I released my own review of this bass here on the Rumbling Man channel, which you can check out. And so this is gonna be the main bass we're gonna use in today's demo, and it sounds incredible uh, through the dark glass. Let's hear it a little more.
So very cool tones. I had a blast playing that part. Um, in fact, I've got some great bass response going while recording because the uh, inner monitors that I'm using for uh, today's video are these KZ AS10s that I got for about 60 bucks on Amazon and they have an incredible bass response to them. Uh, so I totally recommend these if you're a bass player, like if you're playing live or even playing in the studio and you need a little more of that low end frequency coming at you uh, and have all the other elements intact as well, I really recommend getting a set of these. In fact, I'll put, uh, I'll go in and put a link for you in the description of this video so you can go on and, and check these out or check out my review of them right here on YouTube. So obviously with microtube technology, you know, things are going to sound great, but the whole idea behind this thing is it's a very versatile box because you have these separate switches for for the distortion feature of the box and also for the EQ feature of the box and both are really great. Of everything out there I've tried, this yields some of the best and most modern uh, distortion sounds that I've come across to date. Over here, so over here we've got a master volume switch right here. That's gonna stand for the volume of the entire unit itself. Uh, so you know, you're gonna unplug, plug another bass in, you can just turn it all the way down, unplug, plug in that bass, plug back in, turn it back up. Really great uh, on any bass or on any pedal to have a master volume switch. Then also when the distortions engage, we can use, this is a really cool knob. I really like that they did this. We have a blend knob right here where you can blend in or out uh, the distortion. So say the distortion's on and I turn this knob down here. Well, I'm not really gonna hear it too much at all. And then we can blend in just how much of that saturation of distortion we wanna hear uh, mixed in with our clean tone. Then over here we have the level knob and that's gonna uh, represent the level of saturated, uh, distorted bass tone that we wanna hear. Then over here we have the drive knob and just like most drive knobs do, that's how we dial in more drive, get more of that fuzz and more of that gain going and really saturate the bass tone we're hearing with nice distortion sounds. When the distortion is engaged, we have some really cool options with this pedal for how we wanna saturate the tone. This attack toggle over here uh, helps us determine how much we wanna saturate the higher end uh, of the spectrum we're hearing. So obviously, you know, all the way up right here, we have flat to where it's virtually unaffected. And then one step down right here, we have a boost where we're gonna boost uh, saturated distortion into that high end. And then right here, we have more of a cut on the bottom where it's going to cut it and we're not gonna saturate it quite as much. Likewise, we have the same option over here with this grunt toggle switch. We have the same option for the low end, uh, ranging from a cut on top to the boost in the middle and then flat on the bottom. So with these two toggle switches, we can really detail uh, how we want the saturated, you know, distortion tone that we're getting, how we want that to affect the different frequencies we hear. And so to give you a demonstration about that real quick, I'm gonna plug up real quick and demo it for you. We'll start over on this side and we'll go from flat to the two bottom settings and then we'll go over on this side with the bass frequencies and we'll go from flat to the other two top settings on the grunt and let's just take a listen to the different ways that we can saturate uh, the high and low frequencies with the distortion that this pedal offers. And obviously, you know, what I just did was just six of the sounds you can get. There's, you know, numerous combinations on this thing. Uh, and so it's really cool the different ways we can blend in and out and saturate different tones and different frequencies and different EQs using the options on this pedal. Hey, if you're enjoying this gear review, never fear because we are going to look at the rest of this dark glass pedals features in part two. And when part two comes out, we're going to put a link to it right here on this screen. But if you don't see that, it hasn't come out yet. But stay put here on the Rumble Man channel because we've got a lot of great content uh, for you bass players and guitar players. Also hit me up on social media and check out the product links. Uh, all is in the description of this video. So we will see you on part two.